Hello guys, it's Jeremy back on the Minecraft server with Church Mag, and today we're going to do a little something special. So I am in the middle of nowhere. Actually, if you go a little bit south and a little bit, I think, east, um, you'll actually find our spawn points. And this is actually on the same island. The island does break up into a lot of different sections, but this is still part of the main island that's on the north side of where we were at. And there's a beach over there, and there's some more stuff. Ooh, some spiders, too. And I told you guys that we were going to eventually be making a game, and that's what we are actually going to do today. So, today, we're going to start setting this up. If you notice, there's a stump here. I accidentally blew a creeper. This place is actually quite hostile right now, um, but that's okay. We'll work within this. So, there's a lot of hills, a lot of different things are going on right here, but I want to make... A game this will be the first game on the server and the idea behind the game is I was thinking of doing almost a Mario Kart style game and so it would actually be pretty big it would start here go out around do kind of a U shape um, go out that way make a P so it almost say the word up and then come back here and so it's gonna be a big kind of um, boat race because it's going to be in water, but the idea behind it is I'm going to try to add some features to it to actually make it so that it's competitive, it's not just simply racing. So it's going to kind of be that whole go-kart aspect, which means I need to do some clearing out, and then I'm going to need to do some actual digging. So first of all, I'm going to clear a bunch of these trees. When I get done with that, I'm going to light some of this stuff up and I'll come back on camera and then we can start actually digging some of this stuff out. So let me clear this up, let me light this place up, and then I'll come back and we can start actually digging this place out. So I will see you guys in a minute. Alright guys, we're back. I just finished the landscaping. Let me show you a little bit of this outline. Uh, we are by no means going to get this fin thing finished today. Um, on this episode at least, but I do want to get the whole thing laid out and begin to start to look at what this is going to look like. Um, it's not going to be a super long track. I initially was thinking maybe we can make a really long track and have a lot of fun stuff going on, but I don't think I'm going to do it like that. I think I'm, instead I'm going to make it something where you do like four to three to three to six laps, something like that, because Mario Kart, it's not, you don't just do one lap, you do multiple laps. So this will be the starting line right here. Um, I'm actually going to do wool that'll signify the goal line. And so this is, just imagine, seven blocks wide, and it's all going to be water. This is actually going to either be the bottom, or I'm going to just dig one layer out of this, and then make that the bottom. Um, and so we'll go this way, and you'll notice that this is actually underground. I'm going to make it this way. In fact, I might actually bring the, the whole hill out a little. I might do a little terraforming that way, I'm not sure. But you actually go underground, and then we'll go up. And so I'm going to use signs to get the water to be able to go up and it doesn't slow you down. And then we'll go this way. And as you go this way, um, we'll go up a little bit more with some more signs. And keep coming. And this is where we do that little bit of a turn. We'll go down. I was thinking it was going to just be a U-turn, but this was too nice. And then I also forgot that this was over here. So that didn't help things. So we're going to go this way. And this is all while in the boat. So we're not going super fast. Um, so it's going to be kind of long, but it's not going to be overly long. It's too, just going to be too much. And with the way the boats are right now, they break if you smash into each other. So you kind of have to be careful. And then we get to this thing. And I'm not going to make it just open. We'll, we'll actually have a little sides that you don't have to worry about it. But you can kind of see, oh my goodness, look at this. It's so cool. And then we'll go back this way. And it does go up, um, oops, it does go up, but we won't actually have it go up. And then you go this way, and back down, and by this point we'll go back across this ravine. This is just a natural ravine that's here, and we're back here. Now. We won't get to this today, but I am thinking about putting in a little bit extra stuff. I'm putting in some chests, um, some things I won't show you on camera, um, because I want this to be fun for the guys that do this, but it'll be a little bit of redstone contraptions. But like right here, 
you get started and you get going and this is going to be a three to five lap kind of process um, so it's not something that you necessarily want to do the first time or maybe you do but you'll be floating along in the boats and over here there'll be a chest and you can open the chest and grab a lily pad out and while you're going you can set a lily pad down and try to get the people behind you because if they run into the lily pad they stop or they break and then you're going up here and you go this way everybody will have a bow on them and so when you come over here you'll actually grab an arrow um, there will be a chest over here that has arrows um, I am wanting to do a couple shortcuts but again I'm not going to show all that on camera um, I'm going to try to do the whole track and then add some of the shortcuts and stuff after that um, but that's going to be one and so you can grab the arrows I don't know I know there's going to be some changes as far as this is concerned with uh, the ability to have slowness and poison con poison uh, arrows so I don't know if that will affect you when you're in the boats as far as the slowness. We'll see. If it does, that would be excellent. If not, that's okay. We, we just won't worry about it. But you can just shoot each other. And if you kill each other, then there will be a bed right here. Everybody sleeps saying you got to get back in the bed and you're way behind at that point. But I'm not going to make that arrow too close. I don't want it to be something where you're almost to the end and then you get shot by an arrow unless you hold on to it the whole time. Um, so we'll see with that. But that's the layout. Let me get to this a little bit more. I'm actually going to carve out the whole process. There's still a bunch of trees I need to take down on this. But I did mark it all out, which is good. That's what I wanted to do. Um, and then I will show you guys after the jump. So see you in a minute. Alright guys, here's where we left off. I have the whole track finished. As you can see, this is uh, all dug out. Um, there's going to be a whole layer of floor here, so we're going to get to that in a minute, but I wanted to take you over the whole course. So there's going to be some divots in there. I'll get those fixed. But this is the track. Back there was the starting line, and then subsequently the finish line. And this is going to be one of the first climbs that we have on this track, as you guys had talked or seen before. You go into a much narrower area here. I'm not sure if all these areas are going to be narrow but at least this one will probably be it goes up it goes down um, I'm going to use some of the sign tricks to get that accomplished then you go down here much more narrow much more zigzaggy uh, going to be on purpose it's going to be really tight fit through some of these areas I don't know about that turn I might fix that turn you'll actually notice over here <clears throat> if I put in a layer of floor then this is all going to be exposed so I got to figure out what I'm going to do about stuff like this um, I've been thinking about not only having a floor, but actually building up one more layer out and building up one so it's almost like you're in a track. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to do that or not, so we'll see. I want to get the whole thing laid out first and then go from here, from there. So then you have all this. It opens up again. Obviously, as you go along, there's going to be chests people can get into to be able to pick up some stuff. Um, but I didn't want to make this too hard. This is going to be one of the two bridges that I make. It's going to have a nice little view. Initially I was thinking let's just make the whole thing out of stone um, because I want to make sure that if anybody watches it from an external perspective it would be really cool just to kind of get that film and that view going on. But I also want the people in the cart to be able to enjoy it too, to be able to look over the edge. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do over there, we'll see. Um, this is also not complete but it's on purpose because I was thinking when you get here you actually go up, you can have one or two routes, you can take the slower but more direct way right here or you can kind of zip on by and go through here and there will be obstacles like lily pads or something so this one will be a little bit more treacherous, I'm not exactly sure how that's going to look Then you come back here, you have the second of the two bridges um, again, probably stone, maybe glass um, maybe a combination of the two, I'm not exactly sure how that's going to look um, so I'm going to play around with it, kind of give you guys an illustration, but that'll be actually in the next episode. And then we're back here. So that's literally the whole trap track. If you look at the track, it's going to be pretty short, but it's also going to give us the ability to have three laps, maybe five laps, depending on how quickly they go and how long we want them to run. Uh, so that'll be fun. It'll be a lot of interesting stuff to kind of see how that goes. Obviously I'm putting in the finish line right here. I love how that looks and in fact when we look at it here in a minute underwater it's going to look even better. So I love that idea of doing this. Talk to you guys about, I'm going to put this floor in and I wasn't sure 
what kind of floor I needed to do because I have a lot of stone, I have a lot of brick, I have a lot of dirt. And then I also have a lot of nether rack and, and nether brick. So I was trying to figure out what I'm going to do. This was the best solution for me. So I like how it looks just dry, but I'm also going to show you guys here in a second what it looks like whenever it's wet. Give you guys a quick look at that. So give me one sec, let me put all this down. When I was testing this, it randomly would mess with the water, so we'll see if I can get an infinite source real quick. I'm not sure if I can. It was really weird. I've never seen water operate the way it did, but let's get this all down. Obviously, this is just going to be one layer thick. It's going to look nice whenever people look down on it, as well as traveling on it. So this gives you a little idea. It's going to go all the way through this. The whole floor will just be this. Um, I might put... I'm not 100% sure on this, but I might put lights in the middle. They could be done at nighttime, but that's neither here nor there right now. See, it does this weird thing. I have no idea why it does this. Anybody have ideas? It's kind of weird. All right, so we got that, but that doesn't make an infinite source. So go get more water. So that was my initial look. When we come back, you'll get to see actually how it looks looking down on it. We'll take a good look once all the water's on it. I really like the idea of having this vary as we go, but I don't want the racetrack itself to be the difficult. I want it to be make it complex. I want to make it a little bit more difficult than what you would typically just have on a normal racetrack. But I want most of the interaction to actually be player-based. So if there's a frustrating part it's because the player has done something to disrupt the other drivers and I think that's the important part about this process so that's why I have it kind of simplistic it's on purpose we'll see how it goes if I need to make alterations I can always make alterations I'm not worried about that um, some of the stuff I do want to do is I'll add redstone to the track so players can manipulate the track but again, that's going to be kind of limited as well. So I might have some sticky pistons or some hidden areas that they can travel on if they really want to kind of make some shortcuts or something like that to really kind of win. I do want to make it performance based. Um, I know that this is all about creativity and having fun, but I just love the idea of having some kind of a competition on here. So this whole area, I think, is that it? Yeah. Wait. There we go. All right. So this is done. This is literally how it's going to look. I like the brick. I think that's what I'm going to go for. Obviously, you'll be in boats as you go along. Take a couple of spare boats in case you crash yourself. But even then, it's going to make it difficult. And that's going to be the look of it. And that's going to be the whole around the whole track. It'll be interesting how to see how long this takes. But that'll be for the next episode, you guys. Um, I'll show you guys a little bit of the design work for the bridges. I'll show you a little bit of the extra stuff, the the ramps that I do with the signs and maybe even some of the pistons, um, though that might be something I just do as far as secrets. We'll see. But I wanted to give you guys a quick look at what this is going to look like. Next episode, we'll get into it. So thanks for watching, guys. Leave your comments down below if you have them. I'm going to do this very slowly, apparently. I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye. Bye-bye-bye.